Alright, alright, what's going on beautiful people out there on YouTube? Welcome to the video. My name is Brando Linick. Hey there. And you're searching for how to do a business plan for a restaurant. Um, it's a great question and I'm going to break this down from a business model perspective. I'm also going to share with you some important concepts and pr principles uh, that are really critical you have to know when it comes to getting started right in the business. Alright, so you can do the business in a way that works for you rather than against you. So you're going to want to know this stuff. And when it comes to starting a business plan for a restaurant, all right, if you're looking at getting started in a restaurant business because you want to start making money, being your own boss, all that stuff, the first thing you need to keep in mind to actually start it, all right, is the overhead factor. And having family and having close friends of mine, business associates of mine who have started their own restaurant business, the planning process really comes down to just that, all right? You got to look at your overhead, your expenses, so ovens, equipment, stoves, supplies, inventory, space, stocking space, all right, a dry storage area, fridges, freezers, all right, a dishwasher place where you can have dishwashers do their work. And you got to keep in mind all of this overhead. And if you're looking at this honestly because you want to get involved in business to make money, I would advise you if you don't have the budget set aside to start a restaurant. If you don't have the budget set aside or you're considering getting a loan or financing, <coughs> pardon me, I wouldn't advise you to go out there and do that. And the reason being is having seen, okay, very close business associates of mine actually go out there and get a loan in finance and strap that ball and chain to their leg and take 10, 15 years to actually pay off that debt. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I just, I wouldn't suggest that you do it. It's just not a good way to start a business. And if you're looking at this because you want to start a business to make money, I've got a lead I want to throw your way here before you consider uh, mapping out you know, all the things that you need with a restaurant business and consider starting a restaurant business. Before you do that, all right, I've got a lead I want to throw your way here. And that is honestly, if you're looking at starting a biz <coughs> business to make money, all right, to do what you want, when you want, wherever you want, all right. My experience with this goes back over the last year and a half when I actually transitioned from a traditional business where I was dealing with equipment, supplies, employees. In fact, I was actually paying sometimes employees more than I was getting paid. And I was even working harder than my employees, which it's not to say that you're going to have that, um, but it's just to share with you kind of my experience with that. And, um, you know, I went from that and I transitioned over to coming across someone who was building a business without dealing with supplies, without dealing with equipment or employees. So the profit margins were really high and their workload and overhead was very low. So because they were doing this and building a business on the internet that eliminated all those things, all right, because they're just working out their laptop, I started to model and copy what they're doing. They're making a high multiple six-figure income. Um, reached out to them, luckily got their permission to do so, and in a period of less than 30 days, not average, not typical results by far, uh, but I was able to create a full-time income business working very part-time, very strategically. And I share that with you because the cool part was, <coughs> even though I didn't have to deal with equipment, supplies, employees, I didn't have to stay limited to, you know, dealing with the upfront investment, all right, of tens of thousands of dollars, which, you know, you got to take into account when you're mapping out the business plan to start a restaurant business. So, like I said, if you're looking at this really because you want to start a restaurant business because you really just want to make money, I'd advise you to seriously consider, all right, looking towards building a business online where you can eliminate that <coughs> overhead factor and you can increase your profit margins where you're not dealing with supplies, equipment, employees, um, and the operating costs to run that, okay, on a monthly basis because it can really add up and it can be a headache just to be honest with you. Some of you know exactly what it is that I'm talking about because you have previous business experience and some of you, you know, this is just a little bit of a perception into it, okay? This is just a little bit of a an idea to help you make an educated decision. So I hope this made sense. I hope that this you know helped you out just from a brief business model review. And uh, I look forward to seeing your success story on the next one. I look forward to seeing you prosper, uh, whatever approach you decide to take. And if this did make sense to you and you do want to learn more about how to build a business on the internet, all right, without dealing with equipment, supplies, employees, without doing home meetings or prospecting your friends and family to build the business. If you want to learn how to build a business, have a life on the, at, the, at the same time, all right, on the internet and attract an endless amount of people to you and your business instead of going out there and prospecting people, connect with me on my site. If you want to learn exactly what was shared with me that, al that allowed me in less than 30 days to create a full-time income business part-time, check it out. <coughs> if you're coachable, trainable, willing to learn some things, I encourage you. And uh, aside from that, I look forward to seeing you on the beach of the world. Take care.